I wanted the students, first of all, to be able to identify the form of the present continuous so that they, they would be able to identify it when they, they speak and when they write and to know that there are two present tenses. And my second objective was I wanted them to be able to use that form correctly. And um, I wanted them to have a good time learning it, so uh, I, my methodology was to use games so that they would be more relaxed and en enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm him, I'm him. Can somebody help her? Can you help her? <laughs> she doesn't like that one. Yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? He's riding a horse. Are you riding a horse? Yes, I am. I'm uh, riding a horse. horse. You're riding a horse? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You learned a lot of slang, haven't you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Lou, you want to do an easier one? Yes. Here's one. Is that a lot easier? Yeah. Okay. She likes that one. What is she doing? She is opening the door. Are you opening the door, Penlu? Yes, I am. Are you warm? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Penlu. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. How about this one? For you. <laughs> we know who likes to perform. What's he doing? He's dancing. He, he's he's dancing. dancing. Dance. Are you dancing? Yeah, I am uh, dancing. You're dancing very well. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. Okay. What I learned is that they all come with different backgrounds and they've learned in different contexts. And that in order for them to learn as adults, they had to become less formal. And they had to relax and um, we say in ESL, I, I'm a fan of Krashens, who, who um, oh. believes that nat language should be natural and it should be in a relaxed atmosphere, in atmosphere. He calls it lowering the effective filter, and that's what I try to do in the classroom, get people very relaxed so they're willing to take risks and use the language. Um, oftentimes with Asians, they're reluctant to speak, and they want to write, they want to learn, but they're reluctant to take a chance speaking. But if I get them in a relaxed game, you notice everybody was speaking. What is she doing, Miriam? Are you throwing a ball? No. No. She's playing tennis. Are you playing tennis? Yes, I'm playing tennis. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> okay, so that means you get you start here and you go into home play. Yeah. But in here are some home runs too. You might get a home run and make it all away. So one strike, no runs. The runs go down here. Not yet. Okay. So now it's spring and there'll be a lot of baseball games on TV. And the students have told me informally, we don't understand American games. So and um, have to do since Many of them are interested in, in learning more about American culture. I thought well, what, it's a good idea for them to learn through grammar, a grammar lesson, how to, uh, the basics of the game, and now maybe they'll go home and watch it. And uh, again, the, the other benefit of that is listening comprehension. If they're watching a little more TV, they're going to improve their listening comprehension. Um, and then um, we probably will go to a baseball game together and talk about that too. So. It, it lends itself to, you can expand upon that topic with them. Are you sitting and standing up? Yes, I am. Very good. Wonderful. Thank you. I'll take that over here so we don't get it mixed up. And these guys get to do, you're getting there. All right. <laughs>